Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Dill Pickle, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a redstone inverter. Really awesome, really simple, easy build. You're definitely going to want to use this in a lot of your builds. I personally use it in a lot of my redstone builds, almost every single one probably that you see here in front of me. Alright, so to build this, you're going to need one redstone torch, one block of your choice, your button, your lever, or your pressure plate, whichever you're going to power your redstone inverter with. And then at the end, I will be showing you some examples with the sticky piston of where you might use the redstone inverter. And I'll also show you how you can uh, power your redstone inverter through a redstone signal with redstone dust from the back of the redstone inverter. Alright, so first to build this, you're going to place your block of choice down. Then you're going to place your redstone torch down. And then on the back, you're going to place your button or your lever or your pressure plate on the top. And... As you can see, it powers the, or unpowers, I guess you'd say, the redstone torch, as you can see. Or makes it powerless, I guess, <laughs> I don't really know. But uh, basically, it just inverts the redstone signal. So, yeah, it's a really, really simple build. I mean, that's, that's really all there is to it. Now, of course, if I want to have, like, a piston here, for example, and I can put my redstone signal from the back as you can see and then put my pressure plate down it will retract the piston when I step on the pressure plate or when I press the button or when I click the lever now if you have your redstone signal coming from the side of the block it will not power the uh, redstone inverter Now, the reason being is because it has to be directly from the back of the block oops I just broke that there you go. And so it just has to be from exactly, it has to be from the back of the redstone inverter from the back of the block for it to be powered, as you can see. Now, the cool thing about the redstone inverter is that from the front, where the redstone torch is, you can power it in any direction you want, which is really awesome. So that means that I can have like this if I want to. on there you go <laughs> and yeah i can i can have this if i want to have four different repeaters or really or four different uh pistons i mean and i can really have as many as i want to really and as long as i step on the pressure plate they all retract as you can see or if i flick this lever they uh, all retract and if i flick the button they all retract now uh one thing i didn't mention was to if you want your pressure plate to be here or your button or whatever then you have to power it from the back and do a little loop-de-loop -loop here for it to actually power it that's one thing i did not talk about and that's pretty much how you build your redstone inverter so thank you guys so much for watching this video is a really quick tutorial but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and if you found this video useful subscribe like comment down below there are a ton of other videos like this, so subscribe. Come on. I'm waiting. Subscribe to my channel. All right, bye, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Peace.